there's cold in them thar hills. Howdy, y'all. I'm Prospector Gaming Wolf, and let's play Blood and Strike Some Cold. All right. Yeah, it's the end of end of the long levels. Seems like there was two longish levels in this episode. That's okay. Just imagine they get even longer and longer and stuff. By the way, if if dusk, if that game is pretty much complete without any extra DLC, you can expect the LP of it sometime. But you know, wait a little first. That's all I'm saying. Before we do crap like that, we can have all kinds of fun. It's the Cold Rush. That's right. It's it's a prospect and level with ice. That's that's pretty much it. I, I can't imagine what else it is. Also, the ice is once submerged is now upheaving. Look at this effect. Holy shit. Pretty neat. That's on par with like a quake effect. That's pretty good. I can't imagine blood being like like they had to make hex on an N64 game. Considering there's a Doom Engine game that they try to make work on the Super Nintendo, it's like, what are you doing, guys? And we're all like, I don't know, guys. Uh-oh. It's the Runs Forever Man. That happens sometimes. I think I've flamed someone and roasted them on Comedy Central's roast of Comedy Central roasters. And he just runs around, staying alive forever, while burning Disco Inferno-like. Uh and it burns, burns, burns. Johnny Cash's life memoirs. Get off the bush! Yeah. Do they ever say anything else? Well, sometimes. Uh, and we got another upheaved iceberg. You know, because the first time was so cool. We get to do it a second time. Ha ha! Oh, uh, yes. You know what? I'm getting so fond of this. I might just, like, do my Shadow Warrior playthrough sooner rather than later. Actually, no, wait. I think I did plan when I was going to do it. That's right. Never mind. It'll happen, though. Oh, yes. I promise you. Now, as for Shadow Warrior's expansion packs, um, yeah. I'll, I'll find some time for them at some point also. Aha, uh -huh, I shoot you on the fires. Ah, it burns, it burns my flesh. My flesh was once awesome, now it no longer exists. I am, I used to be epidermis, now I am just dermis. Look what you did to my skin. That's not third degree burn, that's fifth degree burn. You don't want to think about that. Yeah. That reminds me of, I don't like speaking about like, read it in just casually, but I can. I like going to the more like, off the beaten path things in that place. And one of those things is something called fifth world problems, where it's just like, you know, you had the concept of first world problem jokes, and then they did in the concept of well, we technically have terms for first world, second world, third world, and fourth world, which I thought was in relation to the Cold War or whatever. But then we have Fifth World, which is just kind of like beyond the beyond and kind of eldritch. So, I'm trying to make jokes based on what's incomprehensible. I thought it was interesting. And then I kept going down to like sixth, seventh, eighth, and it's like it just kept going for a little bit. I'm just like, who's running this? Who's doing this? Who hurt you? It's kind of interesting, though. Yeah. Some of it's just LARPing anyway, but I thought it was interesting, so... If it's one thing you can rely on Red to do, it's creative writing. But, more often than not, I find myself, uh... I find Reddit is better at Quora's job, at least. Yeah. Because Quora is basically doing the job of Yahoo Answers now. And really, oh, truly, truly. Oh, I'm reminded of another website. I wonder if that still exists. Uh, question swap, where basically someone will answer your question, 
but you also have to answer someone's question. So there's a trade-off. But that way, there's a lot more motivation to get your questions answered, assuming you want some of yours answered, and you want to, and you have to answer someone's questions. So it's like, it's a good trade-off. The thing is, is though, I don't know what to ask. <laughs> I got plenty of stuff to answer, though. If I ask something like philosophical, I'd be like, "Well, good luck answering this, jackass." This is a fun little thing. Speaking of fun little things you can find on the internet, is StumbleUpon.com still a thing? I'll probably look it up after this, or I won't. That's the problem. Anywhere I want to travel the internet is just more like, where can I find more games? I will find them, you goddamn son of the bitches. Don't fall in that hole! Oh. Wow. This is feeling a bit more like that thin ice level. Holy shit, what's happening out here? There's some big-ass platforming, by the way. You better have your boots if you want to get this secret. It's worth it, because it's got a life seed, even though I don't actually need it right now. But I will show you as I do it right now. I should reserve that for zero gravity functions, but okay. Missed opportunity when I was doing that one level in Quake where the gravity was turned off. Yeah. Anytime you turn off the artificial gravity, you just queue up that classical tune and be like, yep. And we have 2001 A Space Odyssey to blame for that, so there you go. Is that even a window? Where even am I anymore? I mean, this is... These are down-to-earth places, but I'm not really sure where I am. It's getting super windy out there. Also, there's some gargles around this jumping area, which is slightly annoying. So if I activate some, I'm just going to get off to one of the ends real quick and just leave them off to me. There's a crack in the wall. And I blow it up. Very gently, so... Maybe not so gentle. And there's also another crack in the wall. With another secret behind it. But in there, you can fall into the area with a key inside. But I'll just show you how to do it the regular way anyway. Doing things the regular way? How could you? Maybe you should throw some dynamite in there, though. Let's see if I did that. Pop quiz. I did! It didn't... <laughs> I didn't hit anyone, though. I figured that was something you would do, though. It's like, I see a hole that suspiciously has something under it. Throw explosives first and check for survivors. Where did you guys come from? I missed you, baby. Gargoyle say. Garboyle say. Ouch, baby. Ouch. Okay. Ah, <laughs> pain chance. Inflict the pain. Worry about the cold wind outside later. Wow. Bye. He's dead forever. You can jump in there, maybe? Actually, no. You're not supposed to do that. Ah! There's a much more straightforward way. <laughs> you just jump from here to there, silly pants. That's better. Ha ha! Nice. There we go, a key. Man, what a spot for my key. I need to go all the way back now. Backtracking in my first person shooter? It's more likely than you think. But, I have an easier way to get around this. I can just jump over here. Sweet. Let's go inside and feed the gold or lack thereof to the zombie people on the inside. But first, a little jump. Hey! Wait a minute. Were you always down there? What the fuck? Oh no, he was up there and fell down there very quickly the moment I got up there. It was very fast. I'd like a slow motion replay of that. Ah! Uh more spray cans. Why? Because I have so many of them and they would just go to waste. It's basically doing my flare guns job at close range. Yes. Yes, da. Yep. At least even the voodoo thing I get more of a use out of than the zero weapon in Duke Nukem 30, which was the laser trip bomb. More often than not, it blew my ass up instead of someone else. 
I left some shells by the fireplace so they can roast and you can shoot a nice finely roasted shell gun for your Shogun Mobile Arbor Division. See, it's a little joke there because someone doesn't know I made a reference to that in another context. Ha <laughs> ha! You'll have to search for ages to find it. Ha 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 ha! Not really. In fact, there isn't anything to look for. The thing about telling people things is they can go to Wild Goose Chase. So you see this voodoo doll here, and there's a trap, and then you die. That's some classic D&D bullshit. That's what that is. Please don't choke me. You are one hand, but I am two. And hands need friends. We hands need to stick together. And we cross over this in the Super Smash Brothers. It's like, these are the disciples of Master Hand. The mini hands. Indeed. I think I saw some more spray can. And I would love to pick some up. I don't know. Door sounds. Hear those doors. Hear those monkeys. And those Ramones. And something else. Uh oh. I'm getting a little, uh. Oh, there we go. Well, that was cheap. I hope you like a shotgun to the face. Not even surprised by that. Take this. That's better. Oh, well, I had to be sure. You can shoot this window, but why? Because. Were you just waiting in front of that door that whole time, or were you just... Whatever, mans. Yay, fire armor! Wait a minute, how come the spirit armor doesn't do that when I pick it up? What the fuck? Locked. I don't feel like that was intentional. Anyway, when I press the thing under there, it made that turnstile turn. Otherwise, it'd be stuck in this position right now. Super armor! There we go. Wait, the spirit armor was too close. Or was it? No. Wow, there's bullet holes that are not on the damn wall. Oh no, the boys will have to put this back in programming. And a couple zombies at the end, and kablooza. Gotta have those zombies right at the end of the level, just to be like, just to keep you on your toes. Whew. Oh no. Well, that's going to be it for today. I will see you next time as we enter the bowels of the earth. Hope you have your intestinal fortitude ready. <laughs>